If you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. My channel is running a contest when I get 250 subscribers one lucky person will get $100. All you need to do is subscribe and comment. YouTube has nothing to do with this contest it is run by this channel only. Friday May 23, 1952, used to be a regular day in Burbank, California insofar as I used to be concerned. I bought up at my standard time, labored around the yard for a few hours, and later stopped in at the drive-in snack bar. After several cups of espresso and a change of good-natured banter with some of the customers, I left and went to my job at the Lockheed Aircraft Corporation plant. Things went alongside nicely ample throughout the before phase of the evening, however about 11 o'clock I commenced to sense ill. An extraordinary prickling sensation was once running through my palms and hands and up into the return of my neck. I had a moderate coronary heart palpitation and my nerves had been on edge. I felt simply as I always do earlier than an awful electrical storm. As the acquainted signs increased I went backyard anticipating discovering heavy threatening clouds, however, the nighttime was once incredibly clear and the stars had been bright. Puzzled, I went to work questioning what used to be incorrect with me. By 12.30 am, when the quitting whistle sounded, I was once so exhausted I should scarcely stand. It would be an alleviation to get domestic and into bed. I took my car from the Lockheed parking lot and headed southeast on Victory Boulevard towards home. I grew to become more and more aware of apprehensive anxiety as I drove. I sensed a force of some variety about me. Never in all of my comparable ailments had I experienced such strange symptoms. There was once no pain, but I felt as though I may die at any moment. The prickling sensation had increased and unfolded to my arms, legs, and up into my scalp. Frightened, I puzzled if a historical sickness was once returning upon me. Was I going to be constrained to my mattress once more with the horrible debility and excruciating ache of the constitutional inadequacy of my schoolboy days? The dread signs have been clear there. At Alameda Boulevard I stopped for a site visitor's signal. It was once then I observed that my eyesight used to be glazed and the sounds of visitors have been oddly muffled and far away as even though my listening to used to be additionally affected. I determined that I had a higher end at one of the all-night cafes and have a cup of coffee. But at the idea, all of my alarming signs increased. I forgot the thought 10 of a cup of coffee. My sole and overwhelming wish used to be to get domestic as fast as I could. I endured on Victory Boulevard towards home. I had the phantasm that the nighttime used to be developing brighter as although enveloped in a smooth golden haze. Directly beforehand and barely above my line of imaginative and prescient I noticed a faintly red glowing oval shaped object. At first, it used to be so dim I had to stare at it to be sure it used to be simply there. But regularly it multiplied in brilliance. It was about five instances as massive as the pink element of a site visitor's light. Nervously I rubbed my eyes, something was once incorrect with my vision. But the factor remained there, no longer sharp and surely defined, however fuzzily luminous, really oval shaped and deep purple in color. I persisted on Riverside Drive immediately towards the object, however, it appeared to be receding from me so that I remained enormously the equal distance from it. As it used to be nearly 1 o'clock in the morning there used to be few sight visitors on the road. Apparently, no one else had observed the object as I noticed no motors stopped to investigate. I questioned if I additionally would have missed it above the glare of the headlights if my extraordinary signs and symptoms had not drawn my eyes to it. I drove throughout the bridge over the Los Angeles River with the object nevertheless in view. Just the different facet of the bridge, to the proper of the highway, is a lonely, abandoned stretch of avenue known as Forest Lawn Drive. The object stopped and hovered over the intersection. As I drew near, it won in brilliance and its pink coloration grew deeper and extra glowing. Simultaneously, the bodily signs I was once experiencing grew to be extra acute. I used to be conscious of a tingling sensation of ache and numbness in my arms and legs that reminded me of contact with an electrical current. Now the disc veered sharply to the proper off the toll road and started moving slowly alongside Forest Lawn Drive. For the first time, it took place to me that the top-notch aspect may want to be one of these flying sources I had to examine. I grew to become my vehicle onto Forest Lawn Drive and observed the object. 
about a mile similarly alongside the disc swerved to the right, away from the road, and hung a mobile over an unfenced area some distance beneath the street level. I drove off the pavement about 30 ft to the part of the declivity. From there the glowing crimson disc was once without delay in the front of me and solely a quick distance away. As I watched it in bewilderment it 11 pulsated violently, then shot off into the sky at a 30 or 40 degree perspective and very incredible speed. High in the sky to the west it decelerated abruptly, hung for a moment, then accelerated and disappeared like a meteor. But simply earlier than the glowing pink orb vanished, two smaller objects got here from it. These objects had been honestly round in form and of a soft, fluorescent inexperienced color. They streaked down immediately in the front of my vehicle and hovered solely a few toes away. I judged every to be about three feet in diameter. Hanging silently in the air like iridescent bubbles their inexperienced light fluctuated rhythmically in intensity. Then, curiously coming from between these two eerie balls of inexperienced fire, I heard a masculine voice in strong, well-modulated tones and speaking best English. Because of the fearful anxiety, I was once underneath at that moment, amounting almost to a nation of shock, I can't provide a verbatim account of the dialogue which followed. The invisible speaker obviously was once endeavoring to select phrases and phrases which I may want to understand, however, there have been several matters which even now are now not clear to me. I can solely make a terrible approximation of the gist of his words. I do, however, bear in mind the first phrases are spoken which were, don't be afraid, or Feo, we are friends. Then the voice requested that I get out of my auto and come out here. Mechanically, I pushed open the automobile door and acquired out. I did not experience fear, however, I used to be so vulnerable and shaky that I may want to scarcely stand. I leaned in opposition to the front fender of my auto and appeared at the twin pulsating round objects hovering a brief distance in the front of me. The glowing discs created a tender illumination, however, I should see no man or woman anywhere. I take into account vaguely that the voice spoke once more calling me by way of my full title in phrases of greeting. It similarly referred to that the small inexperienced discs had been contraptions of transmission and reception same to nothing developed on earth. Then the voice delivered that via the discs I used to be in a direct verbal exchange with pals from any other world. There was once a pause and I dimly bear in mind questioning that I ought to say something, however, I used to be shocked into utter silence. I ought to solely stare in twelve fascination at these incredible balls of inexperienced fireplace and surprise if I had misplaced my mind. When the voice spoke once more I heard these startling words. Do you remember your 18 balloons and the mildew cultures that you misplaced in the skies returned in New Jersey, or Feo? I used to be astounded to hear the strange voice recalling an incident out of the previous which had come about so long in the past that I had nearly forgotten it. Yes, sure sir, I do. Do you additionally keep in mind the strange, wingless craft that regarded to be observing your activities? Suddenly the whole scene came again to be crystal clear in memory. I remember Mabel, my wife, my sweetheart's father, and our buddies and neighbors with me as we stared at that strange, disc-shaped object in the sky. I recalled how the object had regarded to comply with the balloons bearing my treasured cultures of Aspergillus clavatus mold. I had been quite an experimenter these days. It was once then it dawned upon me that the fluorescent discs have been comparable in form and behaved in the identical erratic manner as had that mysterious craft lower back in New Jersey. The sole difference used to be that I had viewed the craft in sunlight hours when it glistened like metal whereas the discs glowed in the darkness. You do take into account us, or Feo, the golden voice stated. We have been observing your efforts that day as we have watched you because then. All traces of concern left me at these words, however, I ought to no longer assist surprise what it all meant. Suddenly I realized that I was once feeling very thirsty. As even though in response to my thought, the voice said, Drink from the crystal cup you will discover on the fender of your car, or Feo. Astonished at his words, I glanced down and noticed a type of goblet on the car fender. It glistened in the tender light. Hesitantly I lifted it to my lips and tasted the drink. It used to be the most scrumptious beverage I had ever tasted. I drained the cup. Even as I was once ingesting a feeling of power and well-being swept over me and all of my disagreeable signs and symptoms vanished. Oh thank you, sir, I stated as I positioned the empty cup returned on the fender of my automobile solely to see it disappear. 
13 at that second every other notable phenomenon started to occur. The twin disks have been spaced about 3 feet apart. Now the region between they started to glow with a gentle inexperienced mild which step by step shaped into a the luminous 3D display screen as the disks themselves diminished perceptibly. Within the luminous display there regarded photographs of the heads and shoulders of two persons, as although in a cinema close-up. One was once the image of a man and the different of a woman. I say man and female solely because their outlines and elements have been normally comparable to guys and women. But these two figures struck me as being the closing of perfection. There was once a fantastic aristocracy about them, their eyes have been larger and an awful lot greater expressive and they emanated a seeming radiance that crammed me with wonder. Even extra difficult was once the troubling thought someplace in the returned of my idea that they had been oddly familiar. Strangely enough, the projected photographs of the two beings appeared to be gazing at me. For they regarded at once at me and smiled, then their eyes appeared about as although taking in the whole scene. I had the uncomfortable feeling as they studied me that they knew each thought in my mind, the whole thing I'd ever executed and a giant quantity about me that I did not even comprehend myself. Intuitively, I sensed that I stood in a kind of non-secular nakedness earlier than them. Also, I appeared to be in telepathic conversation with them, for thoughts, understandings, and new comprehensions that would have required hours of dialogue to transmit flashed via my consciousness. Before these two brilliant beings, I felt that I was once solely a shadow of the shining truth I sensed them to be. It is hard to specific my emotions in words, for my appreciation of them used to be one particularly through intuitive perception. After various moments the two figures diminished and the luminous display vanished. Again the two discs flamed into the notable inexperienced fire. Trembling violently from weak spot and bloodless perspiration, I used to be on the point of blacking out when I heard the voice again. It used to be greater kindly than ever as it stated something about my being understandably confused but it guaranteed me I would apprehend the entirety that had taken place later on. Also, I will be mindful of these words, the street will open, or fail. 14 I did not understand. Instead, the idea flashed via my mind. Why have they contacted me, a humble plane worker, a nobody? The voice replied, we see the persons of earth as everyone clearly is, or fail, and now not as perceived with the aid of the restricted senses of man. The humans of your planet have been beneath statement for centuries, however have solely recently been re-surveyed. Every factor of development in your society is registered with us. We comprehend you as you do no longer understand yourselves. Every man, girl, and toddler is recorded in quintessential information with the aid of the ability of our recording crystal discs. Each of you is infinitely extra vital to us than to your fellow earthlings due to the fact you are now not conscious of the genuine mystery of your being. From amongst you, we singled out three folks who, from the standpoint of our greater vibrational perception, are exceptionally geared up for establishing contact. All three are simple, humble, and nowadays unknown persons. Of the different two, one is dwelling in Rome and the different in India. But for our first contact with the human beings of Earth, or Feo, we have chosen you. We sense a deep experience of brotherhood towards Earth's inhabitants due to the fact of a historical kinship of our planet with Earth. In you, we can seem to be some distance back in time and recreate sure elements of our former world. With deep compassion and perception, we have watched your world going through its growing pains. We ask that you appear upon us really as older brothers. The voice continued, speak as a substitute rapidly. It mentioned that they have been well conscious that the flying sources had been dealt with humorously with the aid of most people, as it used to be intended they have to be. In this way, they desired the people of Earth to come to be solely steadily conscious of them and develop accustomed to the thinking of house visitors. It used to be pleased that we acquire them lightly at first for the sake of our personal stability. The voice referred to that the discs had been powered and managed through tapping into regular magnetic forces. For this reason, their activated molecules obtained and transforming power inherent in all the universe. It in addition defined that the complexities of the interestingly easy shape of the discs were so brilliant that to an earthling a saucer would be regarded as having synthetic brains, though everyone is to a diploma beneath the 15 remote manipulate of a mothership. Also, most of the sources, as properly as the spacecraft of different planetary evolutions are of a round form and range in measurement from a few inches to thousands of toes in diameter. 
A disc, the voice continued, is in a position no longer solely to relay something is transmitted to it from a mother ship. However, additionally, it archives exactly all visual, auditory, and telepathic impressions that come inside the scope of the disc. These impressions are relayed to the mothership, the place they are completely recorded upon what Earthlings would popularly time period synthetic crystal brains. Thus for centuries had been recorded a detailed account of Earth's civilization and the non-secular evolution of individual persons. The voice additionally noted that in addition to the remotely managed sources there additionally existed area ships, some of which had been viewed through Earthlings. It was once similarly defined that the etheric entities in actuality had no want of spacecraft of any kind and when they had been employed via them it was once solely for functions of cloth manifestation to men. I fantastically keep in mind the voice making some such assertion like this, interplanetary ships and sources of a number fabric densities can approximate the pace of light. This looks not possible to you solely because of a herbal precept that has now not but been found using your scientists. Also, the speed of light is the speed of truth. This assertion is at present unintelligible to Earth's peoples, however is a simple cosmic axiom. Approaching the velocity of light, the time dimension, as acknowledged upon Earth, turns into non-existent, for this reason in this comparatively new dimension, there is notably speedy capability of area tours that are beyond man's comprehension. Also, inside the records of light are to be found entire records of Earth and of every entity which has incarnated upon it. Many of the sources, of extraordinarily attenuated densities of matter, were invisible to earthly eyes and may want to solely be detected via radar. Also, any of the sources should be rendered invisible at any time, or ought to be disintegrated with the aid of both explosion or implosion. Thus earthlings had viewed some curiously burst in a blue or white flash whilst others appeared simply to vanish in the air. 16 I be mindful thinking about Captain Mantle and numerous others who believed they had contacted the sources. In reply to my notion, I heard these words, Captain Mantle used to be now not pursuing the planet Venus. He was endeavouring to overtake and seize one of the remotely managed disks. His dying was once certainly unavoidable. We want to inform Earth's human beings that sight visitors from different planets occasionally go to Earth's dense, heavy, gaseous atmosphere. All are of kindly intent and none will damage man. All intelligence successful in house travel can study thoughts and see emotions. Man believes himself civilized, however frequently his ideas are barbaric and his thoughts lethal. We do no longer say this is criticism, however kingdom it solely as fact. Thus it is satisfactory to approach all planetary traffic with friendly, welcoming thoughts. As I listened to his phrases I questioned why these superb beings hadn't landed numerous area ships at one of our massive airports and for that reason convinced the world really and rapidly of their reality. In answer, I heard these words, that would be the way of the entities of your Earth, or Feo, however, it is no longer our way primarily due to the fact we characteristic in dimensions unknown to man and therefore interpret all matters differently. Also, due to the fact, there are planetary and cosmic legal guidelines as implacable as the natural legal guidelines of Earth. Cosmic regulation actively prevents one planet from interfering with the evolution of any different planet. In different words, or feo, Earth has to work out its personal destiny. We will do the whole lot in our electricity to resource the human beings of Earth, however, we are truly and appreciably constrained with the aid of cosmic law. It is because the evolution of the lifestyle in its existing stage of cloth development upon Earth is endangered that we have made our reappearance in the atmosphere of your planet. The hazard is a long way higher than Earth's human beings realize. The enemy prepares in enormous numbers and secret. For a second the voice used to be nevertheless and then it stated gently, among the countless different worlds in the cosmos, or Feo, the teens of Earth are as babes, though many of them consider they are shut to the final of knowledge. Among the worlds of the universe are many sorts of non-secular and bodily evolutions. Each shape of sensible existence adapts itself to the physical stipulations frequent upon its domestic planet. Most of these evolutions exist in greater distinctly attenuated varieties of relying on than upon 17 Earth. But the majority are instead comparable to men in appearance. There is a specific cause for this being so. In reality, we are Earth's older brothers and as a consequence, we will resource Earth's humans insofar as they, via free will, will allow us to do so. As I listened to that kind, mild voice I started to experience a warm, glowing wave of love enfold me 
so effective that it regarded as a tangible soft golden light. For a first-rate second, I felt infinitely greater, finer, and stronger than I knew myself to be. It was once as even though momentarily I had transcended mortality and was once one way or the other associated to these most reliable beings. We'll contact you again, Orfeo, the voice said. But for now, friend, it is good night. The two shimmering inexperienced discs dwindled nearly out, then I heard a low hum as they flamed brilliantly into glowing inexperienced hearth and shot up into the sky in the course taken previously through the large purple disc. In in the incredibly quick time they too had vanished, leaving me standing by myself by my car. Bewilderment, incredulity, shock, and stark concern flooded over me, the sudden conviction that I had misplaced my thought and long gone raving mad. What I had witnessed, I felt, simply could not have happened. I raised my numbed hand and it used to be trembling violently. I noticed via my watch that it was once nearly two o'clock in the morning. I climbed shakily into my auto and kicked the starter. Panic was once mounting in me. I twisted the steerage wheel, gunned the engine, and made a sharp, quickly U-flip to get again onto the road. The tires screamed and the automobile lurched. I desired to get domestic quickly. I desired to get lower back to the world of sane reality. I desired any individual to guarantee me I wasn't going mad. I drove with solely a single goal in my mind, to get home. When finally, I made the flip onto Glendale Boulevard and noticed the lights of my the apartment I breathed a heavy sigh of relief, no area had ever regarded so good to me. I left the auto in the driveway and ran into the house. My spouse used to be ready up, concerned and anxious due to the fact I was once so late. 18, Orfeo, what's the matter? What's wrong? You're white as a sheet. I stood staring at her, unable to speak. She got here to me and grasped my hand. Orfeo, you are sick. I'm going to call a doctor. I put my palms around her. I desired solely to experience her shut to me and for the second to strive now not to assume of what I had been through. She pleaded with me to inform her what had happened. Tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, may, I can inform you. Dot dot quote. Finally, we brought to bed, however, it used to be near sunrise earlier than I drifted into a troubled half of sleep.